Welcome back to Travels Abound. Today we're going to talk about four things that we consider must-haves for every RVer. Gotta have them. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, so most of your umbilicals, which is what I'm calling the cord that runs from the pedestal at the campground to plug into your camper, most of them are this away. They're just straight, come out, and then the wire pulls down on this piece. And you have all this weight. Right now we're only hooked up to 30 amp power, so that's why we have this cord. But you can imagine a 50 amp or a true RV 30 amp uh, cord pulls down pretty hard on this. I don't like that. Um, just didn't like how it pulls. And two, just this light cord you can see already has a, a gap where the wire is being pulled down and separating from this rubber. So we bought this. This takes a lot of the weight off, um, the angle of the weight, because it's not bowing down this way. It goes straight into your camper and it naturally tugs down. So it, it takes a lot of that pressure and that leverage off of this plug. So this just plugs in normally like it would here. And then your umbilical that you get, whether it be a 30 amp or a 50 amp, just plugs right into here. So all of that weight is now, instead of being like a, a leverage bar, it's coming straight down. So take a lot of the pressure off of this hookup. Highly recommend that, something that you don't think about. So this is why you clicked. I know, some of you may know what it is, some of you may not know what it is. This is a water flow meter. And what it does is it tells you how many gallons, if you're hooking up and you're filling your fresh tank up, it tells you how many gallons you are putting into your fresh tank. So let's say you have a 50 gallon tank. This is where this comes in handy. You fill it up, you pack all your stuff in, you're within 400 pounds, 500 pounds of being underweight of your camper. Fantastic. So you have a 50 gallon fresh tank. You fill it up. Don't even think about it. You fill it up. Well, guess what you just did? Water weighs 8.34 pounds per gallon. So if you have a 50 gallon tank, you just added 417 pounds to your camper. So you're right there at the threshold of either being just under or just overweight. So that's something that this will save you uh, from the headache down the road. For us, we love full hookup sites. We have not, we haven't boondocked yet. We're going to, but we are curious as to how much water we use on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Our kids, they have a heavy foot when they flush the toilet. Most, I like to wash my hair every day. <laughs> most kids and most wives do. So you you will know if you are hooked up to a full hookup site and you set the reset in the morning and you go throughout your day and you use the water like you normally would you can know at the end of the day how much water you used so you can say okay if I used 10 gallons today I have a 50 gallon tank we can camp we can camp without water hookups for five days six days uh, no problem so that is another big plus and why every RVer should have one of these Okay, so you're backing into your site. You look in your mirror, your spotter is, is saying, that's good, stop. And you think, okay, am I far enough away from the electrical pedestal at the campground or the water hookup at the campground? Your slides are in, so how do you measure that? How do you guess if your slides are gonna hit that pedestal or if you need to move your camper over? Boom, in comes your slide measure stick. That's trademarked. No, it's not, but that's the best that I could come up with. You can see we have two, Marks, wow, that's focusing on me. You can see that we have two marks here and here, okay? And so what you do, say this slides in, we pull up to a campsite, the pedestal, the electrical hookup is right here. Kind of, kind of wondering if we're gonna hit it or not when we move the slide out. So all we do is stick it up against the camper and we can see automatically that our slide, the shortest slide, will only come out to here. I always mark about an inch to an inch and a half further than our slide. That way we know for sure that we'll fit if we're within or outside of this mark. So the other one is for our deeper slides, our longer slides here. So we just kind of walk around. If there's any obstacles, we'll put this up against the camper before we slide the slides out and see where those marks come up and we'll know whether or not we're good. Also, I got a universal pole so I can screw the scrub brush on here when I wash the camper. So it's not just a measure stick, it's also an extra arm, an arm extender for scrubbing the camper. All right, so the next thing that you may or may not think of is this. 
an infrared thermometer. I kind of stuck that in front of your face, didn't Thanks, I? Bob. This is an infrared <laughs> thermometer. So what is this good for? Other than maybe a paperweight keeping something from blowing away. Or as you like to refer to it as... Pew <laughs> pew! Or, or the dog. It's Nick's toy. Yeah. It does a laser. It's got a laser. I don't know if you can see it back there. You may not be able to see it, but it's got a laser on it. And the dog loves this, so you can take him out and... The kids also chase it too, but anyways, I, I, I got sidetracked. So this will tell you what the temperature is. Uh, you can buy this or you can buy, there's a lot of them on Amazon. Uh, and we'll put the link to this one in the descriptions below. But this is great for checking your refrigerator, making sure that it's cool, your freezer, make sure that it's where you want it to be. It's not so good for, for checking your, your temperature on your skin. It doesn't, they don't recommend doing that. Uh, but it can also check your air conditioners to make sure that your air conditioner is blowing cold enough. If you kind of get to a hot place and you think, man, it's not blowing out cold enough air, well, you can check it and just think, oh, well, it's too hot in here. But it's 107 outside. You can, right. <laughs> you can also take this along in your vehicle when you're traveling and when you go to potty breaks, usually it's for me, but or, or you go and get diesel or gasoline, you can go around and check your brakes. You can check your wheels to see if anything's overheating. If one wheel or brake is hotter than the other, then you may have a problem. You may have a stuck brake. So this little device right here will help you a lot. Um, just kind of troubleshoot if you have any issues, like I said, with the fridge, the air conditioners, or brakes. Exit scene, take two. <laughs> and so that will effectively end today's video. We appreciate you coming back to Travels Abound. And we we hope you enjoyed the video because it's four things that not many people think about. Uh, you know, of course, you need the water filter and the hoses and everything else, but who would think of a water flow meter or a, a laser toy for the dog <laughs> that measures temperature too? <laughs> Thanks again for coming, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Bye.